Hey, this is Dan. Welcome back to Real Vape Review, and I have another electronic cigarette to review for you guys today. And the folks over at MigSigs.com, anyway, they contacted me and asked me if I'd uh, review some of their products. Of course I will. So anyway, uh, before I get into the video or review, I'm going to go ahead and show you this right here they sent over real quick. Uh, MigSigs.com, you can see that right there. And Hello Mig 123 is a coupon code, and you can actually get 10% off your next order. Uh, at Mig Sigs by using Hello Mig 123. I like showing you the coupon code right up front, and that way, if you decide to order anything, you can at least save a little bit of money. And God knows we can all save a little bit of money. So, all right, they sent me over some stuff to review, and they sent me over a whole bunch of stuff here. And I'm actually going to review, uh, I'm going to go ahead and talk about all of it here in one video. So, uh, first thing I'll talk about here to show you is they actually sent me over a bunch of batteries and these are 280 mAh batteries and there's also this black one. I got the back, black one already pulled out and I'll show you the black one here. Now this black one, you can see on there it says, ah, focus. Anyway, it says MIG SIGs on there and it also has a little button. Ah, focus, stay focused, stay focused. There you go, now you can see it. It's got a little button on there and it's actually a button styled SIG alike, which is very, very cool. And there we go. And now it's lighting up. You can see the tip of it actually lights up blue. So very cool on that end of it. So we'll set that to the side real quick. And I'll show you a couple of other things they sent over with it as well. Now this is actually going to be the charger, which has got a standard USB type charger. You actually, when your uh, battery gets dead, you just screw this into this, plug it into any USB charger you got around. And it also comes with the MIG SIGs uh, wall charger, wall unit to plug your USB cord into. So. Set that to the side for a second. They sent me over a couple of other cool items as well. One being this uh, this pouch, this case here. Mig Sigs on the front of it there. And it's a really nice uh, case in the inside. It's got different pockets. You can actually put your e-cigs in there. Put your e-liquids or whatever, extra cardamizers, extra tanks. Put it in there. It's a nice hard pack. Put it in there, zip it up, and you're good to go. And, yeah, nice and solid. You're not going to damage anything or hurt anything. So, yes, that's awesome on that part of it. They sent me over an extra USB uh, charger for the batteries since I have so many of the batteries. They sent me up over a couple of mouthpieces. I think this is so you can share with your friends or whatever or share with people you don't know or if anybody wants to take a drag out of it, off of it, you can actually pull that out and let them actually suck on that instead of actually on your actual e-cig itself. So they sent me over two of those. Now this is a very cool little tool here. They sent me over this little pry tool and you can see the end of it there. It's just, it's just a, basically a... Where is it? There it is. Little pry tool. And basically on the cardamizers, they, they have they, they sell premium e-liquid as well. And anyway, we can pop the top of the cardamizers out on their e-cigs and actually refill it with their electron or e-cig juice that they have. And the two flavors they sent over is Sahara at full 18 milligrams and then uh, menthol burst. And yeah, it's just refill liquid. They sent me over uh, two boxes of those as well to go with them. So they also sent me over five different packs of wow of their cart cartridges that, that they pre-filled cartridges. Now this is a uh, vanilla, I got red zeppelin, which is a tobacco flavor with a kick, uh, menthol and Sahara, full flavor cartridges anyway, Sahara and blueberry. So we're gonna start off with vanilla on this one real quick and I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this out and take a look at it. Comes with a little five pack in here and a little, uh, little protective cellophane thing. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop one of these out real quick. Now each one of the little cartridges has a little rubber tip on each end, so we're going to go ahead and get the little rubber tips off of there and set those to the side. And I usually keep my little rubber tips, and that way when I'm not vaping on this or not using it, I can actually put the tip, tips back on there and keep the flavor and stuff from dissipating out and everything. Now on here it says Mig Sigs Vanilla, and it's kind of hard to see. It's yellow on white, and yeah, you can see that real nice there. Mig Sigs, and it's got vanilla, and they've got it. You know, one thing you guys know me, one thing about branding on the actual, focus, come to me, but branding on the actual cartomizer itself. I think it's a very, very good thing to do if most, because most people who smoke on the Sigalikes and smoke on the vape and vape on these little smaller units, they have a bunch of them laying around. I want to know what that is when I pick it up. I don't want to have to take a guess, you know, of what it is. Labeling it is key in my book. Like I say, it's got the little draw mouthpiece on there. If I took this little tool, I could pop out a little tool in there. I could pop out a little mouthpiece out, and then I could put in a few drips of, of the e-liquid uh, back into it, like I said, vanilla e-liquid, and fill it back up, and I could keep this and keep re reusing these little disposable cartridges. So let's go ahead and put it on the e-cig itself. 
Okay, and that's what it's going to look like with vanilla on there. I like the black. It's a nice long, long battery. It's 200, 280 mAh, which is nice and long lasting. It'll last you longer than the regular Sigalax, which are only about that long. And this has got that much extra. So you can see just the battery size is just, you know, you can get a lot more battery. Now, like I say, this one does have a button on it. Wow, nice vanilla flavor. Nice and clean, nice vapor production. Very nice vapor production on this. The vanilla is very clean tasting. It is very, it's kind of, it's kind of mellow. It's not a really potent, strong vanilla flavor, but it's definitely got, it's definitely got the vanilla flavor in there. It almost tastes a little bit like, uh, kind of like a banana pudding. It has a little bit of a banana taste to it, like a, maybe a, like, like a vanilla snack pack, uh, flavor really really nice not really banana -y, but it's kind of got that banana quality to it very nice flavor for sure um i'm gonna go ahead and give the banana flavor i'm gonna go ahead and give that i'm gonna give that a seven out of ten that's probably one i'm not banana vanilla sorry but vanilla 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 flavor i'm gonna give that about seven seven and a half out of ten probably one of the better vanilla flavors i've tried i'm not a big fan of vanilla but that one actually tastes pretty damn good so all right i'm gonna go ahead and try the menthol now I'll go ahead and pull it out of a little package here it comes the same way set up and these ones are a light blue set that one to the side for a minute Pull off my little rubber, my little rubber tips. Now this one on there says menthol full. Let's screw it into place, and I'll show you real quick. Now it does say menthol full on there, and it is a blue cartridge. And I can smell it already. It smells nice and strong. Definitely a really nice vapor production on this. That's actually a really nice menthol flavor too. Nice and strong menthol. It's got a nice minty aftertaste. It's not overbearing on the menthol flavor though. It's nice and clean. It's got a nice minty taste. Great aftertaste. Probably one of the better menthols I've tried in a long time. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice for sure. I'm going to go ahead and give that menthol flavor on this. I'm going to go ahead and give that an 8.5 out of 10. It's actually a really nice menthol flavor. Nice and clean, nice and minty. It goes down really nicely. All right, next we're going to try is Sahara. Now, this is Sahara. What is this Sahara? I can't remember. It is a soft, light taste, yet full body tobacco flavor. Go ahead and pull the little rubber caps off. Now this one I like the color of. It's black on black, which is really, really nice. And let me see this here. Mig Sigs, Sahara Full. Yeah, Sahara Full. Let's give it a shot. Strong. Tremendous vapor production on this. It's got a really nice, actually, tobacco flavor. What oh, they call tobacco, anyway. Every I've not found one that tastes just like a cigarette when I smoke it or vape on it. Really nice vapor production. This definitely has a little bit of spice to it, like a little bit of peppery flavor, um, a little bit of caramel undertones, a little tiny bit of sweetness in there. It's actually a really nice tobacco flavor. A um, little bit of pepper, though. A little bit of spice going on with it. And that's just a little bit to throw me off a little bit. And what do they call it? It's a soft, light taste, yet full body to uh, full body tobacco flavor. So, yeah. Uh, uh, kind of hard to rate this one. It's definitely got some nice vapor production. I'll give vapor production so far on the MIG SIGs. I'm going to give them a 9 out of 10. They got some really nice vapor production, producing plenty of vapor, and you can definitely get that kick. Um, Sahara flavor. I'll give that Sahara flavor. 
I'm going to give it about a seven and a half out of 10. It's a good flavor for sure, but that little bit of peppery spice flavor in there is kind of throwing me off a little bit. All right, next one I'm going to do is Red Zeppelin. And Red Zeppelin is a stronger tobacco flavor with a mild aftertaste. So this is going to be probably your full strength, you know, tobacco flavor. And sorry I'm sweating, guys. It's warm, humid, it's been raining. All right, now this is kind of a pink colored kind of reddish pink anyway colored uh cardo on this one and it says red zeppelin on there got a nice look to it red on black not bad all right let's give it a shot hmm. that's nice Great vapor production. This is a really nice tobacco flavor. This is really similar to my favorite, uh, my favorite tobacco flavor, uh, which is EC Smokes Cowboy Red. This is really similar to that flavor. It's got a nice uh, caramely undertone. It's got a nice potency to it. It's nice and strong. There's really not, not it doesn't really have that spiciness like the Sahara had, but it's definitely got a nice kick. Yeah, great flavor for sure. Um, I'll go ahead and give that an eight and a half. Actually, I'm going to give that a nine out of ten on the Red Zeppelin flavor. It's actually got a really nice flavor to it for sure. All right, last but not least, I saved this one for last. I have not tried it. I'll show you this here, the little package here. I have not tried it. And this is actually going to be the Blueberry Classic. And what does it say about Blueberry? It's a hookah fruit flavor with tobacco punch. So, wow, smells great already. <laughs> All right, now I'm a big fan of blueberry. I really love the fruity flavors. Those are by far my favorite. I'll show you this real quick. Blueberry Classic on there, and it's kind of a, a purple, a light purple color on the actual unit. Let's give it a shot. Oh. Oh. I'm going to tell you already, that's a 10 out of 10. What a phenomenal flavor. Blueberry it is really hard to go wrong with a good blueberry flavor. This has definitely got blueberry, like I said, with tobacco undertones on it. It's really nice and clean. Oh, man, that is a great flavor. That's great. <laughs> Fantastic. <clears throat> Straight to my lungs. It's definitely got a little bit of a kick to it. A little bit of a throat hit. Very, very nice. And these do not say... Oh, this does. 12 milligrams on the blueberry. 18 milligrams on the red zeppelin. Not sure on the menthol. Doesn't say... Oh, 18 milligrams on that one. The Sahara is 18 milligrams. And vanilla is 18 milligrams as well. That's probably why I'm liking the 12, the, the blueberry a little bit more. It doesn't quite have the heaviest throat hit as the other ones. It's a 12 milligram. I'm, I'm vaping a lot of 12 milligram liquids lately, and that's been my kind of go-to. You get a little bit higher on the nicotine level. You get a little more of a throat hit, a little more of that pinching feeling going on in your throat, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't I don't really need the throat hit. I just like the feel of it. I like the the, the, the vapor production and the flavor. And you got good vapor production with this as well. Very, very nice. 10 out of 10 on the Blueberry Classic. That is a great flavor. And like I say, with these, you can take the little tool. This little tool here. Let me pop it out. Let me just see how tough this is to, to actually do. This is my first time ever trying this. I'm going to go ahead and take the cartridge off here. And I'm going to show you. Let me clear some room for my big elbows. And I'm actually just going to take this and I'm going to put it inside there and, oh wow, that is easier than I thought. Maybe. It was easy. It popped right out of the first part. Probably the right direction. Oh, there it comes. Wow, just like that. Now, this little white piece come off there and it's the actual insert that goes in there that you draw through. 
I'll get this to focus now and you can see down inside there you can actually see the wadding down inside in there and that's actually where you're going to drip your flavor uh, liquid to actually reload these cartridges which is really really nice and I can see it's already still moist in there right now so of course I wouldn't need to add anything I've only vaped on it for a minute or two but yeah if you've got the blueberry e-liquid you can actually just take that little thing just put it right, put it back in there just pops right back in there you can probably do this with your fingernails if I had fingernails I could but yeah, you can just that little tool. That's a really handy little tool. You pop it out. You pry it. Oh, put it in part way. You pry it one direction, and there you go. It pops right out. Piece of cake. That is really handy. That is really really nice. And then you just pop it back on your battery, and you're good to vape. Now with this tool, when you're going down in there, you want to make sure you go, don't go down in too far and don't go down into that center port very far because your coils are down inside there and your coils is actually what heats up and vaporizes the, the liquid that's on the inside. So you don't want to make sure you get down in there and damage that. So but that is very cool. I like having the rebuildable cartridges. That's a very handy idea. It's a very good way to do it. And then you can take your favorite liquid and refill up your cartridges and you can have these. One thing I will say about cigalikes like this and the smaller ones, and you know this and the smaller ones, ones that look just like cigarettes, is these are a little more discreet than a lot of the other ones. The button, I can see how that could fire in your pocket pretty easily. I, you know, I mean, you could definitely hit that in your pocket. But like with the cigalikes, you can be discreet sometimes. Maybe if you're at work or in a library or somewhere, you don't want to be, you know, you know, pulling out, you know, your SVD and you know, going to town on it. That's a little obvious to what you're doing, and you know, like I say, sometimes you just want to be a little more discreet. And... Discreet, gotta love it. All right, guys, <clears throat> Mig Sigs. If you go over to Mig Sigs and you order, um, I don't know anything about their pricing. I have their website pulled up, but definitely you guys do your research before you buy anything. Shop around a little bit. Um, as far as flavor going, all around flavors, these guys have some really nice flavors. The Sahara was a little bit spicy, but their uh, uh, Zeppelin, Red Zeppelin, or Zeppelin, what is it? Yeah, Red Zeppelin, definitely a nice flavor for sure. And you can see that there, Red Zeppelin. Yeah, it, it's actually really nice. All of them were very decent flavors. The blueberry was exceptional. I love that a lot. The 200 M 280 mAh batteries with a push button, very unique. It's a very good idea. I like having the push button, especially since I've been using the big units so much. That having a push button on the little one is kind of kind of clever. I like it. Very, very nice. So, all right, guys, I will link MIG SIGs down below. And if you do buy anything, use product code or coupon code HelloMIG123. Let me show you that one more time just in case. HelloMIG123. And like I say, and it says, feel free to pass this code to your friends. Just enter this code at checkout. And thank you again for choosing MIG SIGs. So, yeah, they sent a lot of stuff over and very, very good set for sure. Very good setup. And like I said, I'm not sure on the pricing. Do your research before you buy anything. We'll catch you guys on the next review. Check out all my links down below. Stay charged and vape on.